Chapter Fifty Four. Virtue blesses the world and brings prosperity to future generations. Whoever is planted in Tao cannot be uprooted. Whoever embraces Tao will not slip away. They will be honored, generation upon generation, without ceasing. Cultivate in the self; its virtue shall be true. Cultivate in the family; its virtue shall overflow. Cultivate in the village; its virtue shall last long. Cultivate in the state. Its virtue shall be abundant. Cultivate in the world; its virtue shall be everywhere. So, to observe others through yourself, observe other families through your own family, observe other villages through your own village, observe other countries through your own country. And observe the world with the world. How do I know the world is so? By means of this principle. Revelation chapter fifty-four. People who truly understand and embrace Tao will merge with Tao as one. They will never depart from Tao. No matter what test of time they go through, and neither will people be able to dissuade them from it. A Tao practitioner acts with clear conscience, just like Tao itself, which is humble, unselfish, accumulates virtue by doing good deeds, and benefits all things without competing. Because the merit accumulated is passed down to future generations, the future generations will never stop honoring them. In the state of Qin, around 256 BC, Li Bing and his son constructed an irrigation project to benefit the people of the state. Two thousand years later, people erected a temple honoring them. If people who cultivate and practice Tao can display the characteristics of Tao by purifying and correcting themselves, it can be affirmed that the Tao and virtues they practice are true. If the virtue can benefit the family, it means the virtue is increasing. If the virtue can benefit people of the village, it means the virtue is gradually extending. If the virtue can benefit the people of the whole country, it shows the virtue is abundant. If the virtue can benefit the world, it means the vast virtue can reach all the people of the world. Confucius' great learning manifests the highest virtue to the world. You can judge another person's feelings by your own. That is to say. If you can understand yourself with your own conscience, you can know others as well. If you know what your family needs, you can understand what other people's families need. If you know your own village, you can understand other villages. If you can see the needs of your country, you can understand the needs of other countries. From the perspective of the part of the world you live in, you can understand the wider world. Why is it I can understand the infinite truth of the universe and the reality of life? It is because of this principle I have stated.